serious what are the scariest places on earth currently known to man? Underwater caves would be pretty high up on my list, if not right up at the very top of it. My dad used to cave dive, made and sold videos of different underwater caves in Florida and Mexico. I breathed in his respirator once, while I was above water and even that was too claustrophobic for me. He passed away several years ago, but his buddy spread his ashes in his favorite underwater cave. Bosman's git it barely looks like much more than a pond, yet is actually hundreds of meters deep and multiple people have died there. I read a couple of articles that, whilst fascinating, were also faintly terrifying. The very true outback of Australia. If you're traveling nobody expects to see you for up to a week. Nobody expects phone calls or messages as there's no phone service. If you break down it could take a couple days until you are found by a passing car. And if they don't find you in time the dry extreme heat will kill you. You could never pack enough water to survive as long as it takes for someone to notice you're even missing. It's unforgiving and a horrible way to die. Not to mention that if you die the heat will decompose you in a matter of days and scavengers will scatter you meaning your family may never know. This is more eerie than scary, but towns that have been flooded to make a reservoir. The idea that there are people's belongings and houses down there, at the bottom of the lake, preserved in the cold water. The Canadian Arctic. The population density is 0. 0 03 inhabitants slash km2, and temperatures often drop to minus 50 deg point C in the winter. There are very few indigenous settlements, and the ones that are established rarely have a road to get to them. Ice fields and glaciers have crevasses that can be up to 160 feet deep, and if you fall in deep enough or in a bad spot, there's a high likelihood that you'll die before any rescue team can reach you. The northernmost national park, Quitina Park, is 37,775 km2 and has two ranger stations. Your emergency radios may not even get a signal out due to weather, terrain, or solar activity. You are truly on your own in places that far north, and sometimes you'll have to bolt your tent down with steel cables, because the winds will literally blow you away across the rocks. One of the last truly wild places in the world simply because it is so harsh and unforgiving to humans. One misstep could kill you. It's amazing that Inuit have carved out their own world in such a place. After watching the movie The Lighthouse I would be terrified of spending one day there. Just the idea of being in a small rock in the middle of nowhere with no communication and just one small accident from death terrifies me. Aside from the well-known places such as various death camps, prisons, and battlefields. F King Pavegelia Island. Throughout the history it was used as quarantine zone during the plague outbreaks. There are multiple mass graves on site. Supposedly it was just a dying ground for the afflicted, where at some places the very soil was purely composed of rotting plague corpses. The fun doesn't end there. Later on someone decided to build a mental asylum right on top of that, in 1922. Countless cases of observed hauntings by the patients, but nobody believed them, since they were supposedly crazy. The headmaster of the institute then later on committed suicide, by climbing the bell tower and jumping down. Any school at night with the lights off. Something about places that are alive with people all day can be the creepiest when you experience them alone in the dark at night. Edit. I once got left in my old junior high building after a play. I had been playing hide and seek and cheat, and when it was over my brother straight forgot to find me to go home. That stage, the auditorium, the curtains, back rooms with costumes, all that cheat in the pitch dark and silence was ducking wild. I visited a place on a tour of WW2 events around Europe that gave me absolute chills. It was in the middle of a woods, a big pit with steps cut into the side that we carefully walked down. It must have been about 20 feet deep and 50 feet from side to side, empty save for a single wooden post riddled with bullet holes. Horrible, but so were a lot of other places we'd been, but this one was weird. It was in the middle of a forest we'd walked through, full of birds and other wildlife, but here it was silent, completely still. No wind, no noise, nothing grew through the packed earth. It sounds stupid, but it was like nature rejected it, it felt poisonous. As soon as we walked away from it all the sounds of nature started again. Freaked me out, that was 26 years ago, and I've never forgotten how it made me feel. 
Antarctica, with temperatures that can drop down to minus 89 C, winds up to 300 plus km slash h, thousands of kilometers from the closest inhabited nation, ultra low population density which the supermajority are concentrated at various camps in just a place of ice. Get lost and you're dead. Top of Mount Everest. You are actually dying as you stand there. Edit. Dying as in your body is actually shutting down, and you will die just by being at 8000 meters if you stay too long. Not really anything scary, but kinda creepy so here it goes. There's a coal mining town in PA called Centralia. It's unknown how exactly it happened, but the mine caught fire in 1962 and the underground of the town has been on fire to this day. Basically a ghost town with a population of like 5 people. This town also apparently is the inspiration for the game Silent Hill. Personally the uncontacted tribes that remain on near scare the sheet out of me while being fascinating at the same time. The Sentinelese hate all outsiders and will try to kill anyone within range. Yet it is likely they have never discovered fire. Everyone keeps making a thing of this particular note so I'm just taking it out many others exist in South American jungles and have only been spotted by helicopter slash occasional aerial sightings. I've always found that unknown aspect very creepy. Edit, I'm aware that, in the past, people have contacted them successfully. However, any of the most recent attempts to contact them have been met with varying degrees of hostility, which is where my own fear comes from. I'm not saying they aren't justified, or have their reasons either. 2006, two fishermen killed, when they fell asleep in their boat, and rifted too close to shore. 2018, missionary killed when he tried to visit and speak with them. Hoya Basio Forest in Romania, is considered to be a haunted forest. Some people went missing in that forest the shepherd who went missing with a flock of 200 sheep. Visitors of this forest also report strange feelings of nausea, anxiety and being watched. Mayak nuclear facility in Russia, including the nearby Lake Karachay and the Tekla River. Probably the most polluted place in the entire planet, where there have been more nuclear accidents than I'd like to count, and the authorities have been dumping nuclear waste into the lake for 50 plus years, just converting it with concrete slowly. They've also been dumping water into the river for all that time too, and it's unknown how many people living downstream might have suffered from radiation and poisoning of their water slash food supplies. Storage facilities for high level and low level waste are essentially rotting away and neglected or poorly operated, leading to repeated criticality events and explosions over its lifetime. This place has emitted more radiation into the environment than any other nuclear accident in history, including Chernobyl and Fukushima. The North Korea slash South Korea border. Less of creepiness and more of direct danger that makes it so you will most likely die within seconds. More than likely there have been hundreds possibly even thousands of people that were shot or blown up in that area with their remains never retrieved. The ocean. The whole thing. Just, the entirety of the ocean is terrifying. Even Great Barrier Reef, which has an animal that is nearly invisible, and if you touch it you probably die. The Battleship Island, Hashima, a Japanese concentration camp for Koreans. Its name comes from its appearance, it's a small island completely surrounded by huge walls, in the middle of the sea, with coal mines. With the amount of Koreans forced to live there, it was one of the highest population density in the world. You might have seen a few shots of the island which is now abandoned in Skyfall. The Korean movie Battleship Island also deals with this place, I strongly recommend it. The ocean, we know more about other planets than we do below the surface of the ocean. There is an estimated 100,000 to 10 million species that are undiscovered. Point Nemo also known as the loneliest place on earth, is located in the ocean. The closest island is a Pitcairn which is still 2,700 km 1,677 miles, and inhabited by approximately 50 people. If you were at Point Nemo and the International Space Station were to pass over you, they would be the closest people to you. Not only is the ocean lonely and cold, it also has lots of pressure. If you were to be placed at the bottom of the Mariana Trench with no protection you would be crushed with a force of about 50 jumbo jets, which is around 25 million pounds or 12,500 tons. In Hawaii, there's a sinkhole whose name escapes me. 
Nobody knows exactly how or why but sometimes, people who swim there are fine one moment, before showing signs of panic, and are subsequently pulled into the depths. No visible disturbances in the water are present in these cases and many times, people are fine. The locals believe a legendary water monster lives there and have therefore banned any and all swimming in this area. Most likely, it's a tidal whirlpool, but if this is the case, there would be visible water disturbance on or near the surface and the disappearance is in a smaller area of the lake. However this is not the case from what I hear. Shipwrecks in general. I once scuba dived next to one in the thought that hundreds of people had drowned there plus the open sea, the current and the fact that we could only see 3 meters ahead of us was terrifying. Would recommend nonetheless. Probably not the scariest on earth, but to me as a Nohilan, the many dead and dying towns we have here can be pretty surreal. Places where manufacturing and mining jobs dried up and most or all of the inhabitants just left. Many still have a few people living there, often 50 or less. In these places, it can feel like you've gone back in time. There are no chain stores of any kind, only old to me mom and pop places. Maybe a general store, a bar slash diner, a post office if they're lucky, and that's it. All of the vehicles are pristine 50s and 60s models. The farm equipment may be from the 1920s or earlier. 90% of the homes and businesses are abandoned, if not more. You may also hear an accent not spoken by anyone other than these few people. I've been to tiny towns here where everyone sounded like they'd been transplanted out of Boston to some middle of nowhere Ohio town. Due to isolation, stuff like this can happen where an area has so little exposure to other areas that they retain an accent through generations that technically shouldn't exist locally. It's kind of like a type of founder effect. Look up Tangier Island, Virginia for a great example. Visiting these places can be uncomfortable because the few remaining residents are often downright hostile to outsiders. Hot tub of despair scientists have discovered a lake in the Gulf of Mexico. Everyone who enters this pool at the bottom of the sea will suffer horribly. The water in the lake within the sea is about 5 times as salty as the water surrounding it. It also contains highly toxic concentrations of methane and hydrogen sulfide and can thus not mix with the surrounding sea. For animals and people who swim into it, these toxic concentrations can be deadly. Only bacterial life, tube worms, and shrimp can survive those circumstances. The Shyanandan massacre is basically happening again in Hong Kong, only secretly and is happening over the course of months, not hours. Random teenagers went missing and dead. Police and pro-China thugs gets to do whatever they desire. Sexual assault from these groups at night happens regularly. It doesn't matter if are English or American. People even got captured inside the British Embassy by the police without violent actions. Certainly one of the most horrible places in the developed world. Alert of Mexico, Sentinel Island and I can't remember where exactly but there's a place in Scotland or England that looks all nice and green, but is full of ditches everywhere and not only would you get lost going in, but break all the bones in your legs because of all the hidden ditches. The Anachovic Room at Orfield Laboratories. It's the quietest room on earth, measured in negative decubals. It may start out alright, but eventually your brain will think it's too quiet or start hallucinating sounds in a manner of sorts. Actually it may not be as scary, but you can go crazy in half an hour or even a few seconds. Haunted forest of Romania, and in that forest, a circle where nothing grows. Anything from strange UFO sightings in there to a little girl, went missing for 5 years and reappeared. When questioned, she couldn't remember anything between the time she disappeared to the time she reappeared. Even creepier is the circle. A perfect circle, where no plants grow, and wildlife doesn't go into either. No explanation as to why things don't grow, and very strange myths and legends. Personally, I'm not someone to get wigged out on much, but every time I think, hear, or see pictures of this site, hair on the back on my neck stands up. Every time. I get weird vibes from that site just looking at it edit. I'm not an expert on this forest. Op asked for scary places on earth known to man. I watched a documentary on this forest. I gave my opinion what I believe to be pretty creepy at least given the stories and such and the vibes I get when I see things related to the forest. So please stop trying to discredit my opinion on what I think is creepy for Opus. 
The forest is interesting, and the documentary discussed a lot. Again. I'm not an expert. Have a good day guys. The Alnwick poison guard it's a garden in England with every species of poisonous plant known to man. It has the Jimpy Jimpy, Deadly Nightshade, etc. North Korea is pretty scary. If you ever decided to travel as a tourist there for whatever reason, and make a disrespectful move, you can kiss your life away. Perfect example is Otto Warmbier, who got 15 years for attempting to steal a banner from a hotel. He fell into a coma while incarcerated, and never came out of it. Probably either the bottom of the ocean or an elderly people's wing at the hospital. I say the hospital, because as someone in high school, realizing how much pain and suffering and issues that come with growing old like that scares the absolute shti out of me, and puts me into a small panic mode. The suicide forest in Japan, is pretty duckin' creepy. It's super calm and breathtaking which is, why a lot of people go there to end their lives. They recover something like 100-200 bodies a year I like. Definitely intriguing but it makes my hair stand up.